Section 312 is a repeal of the 2002 Authorization for Military Force. And this one was passed, House Joint Resolution 114, to authorize the war in Iraq back in 2002. The war in Iraq was, was declared ended on December 15th, 2011, and yet this Authorization for Military Force is still out there floating around. And Trump used it to justify the assassination of Iranian General Sol Soleimani in the early days of 2020. This one isn't needed. It's not relevant. It should be repealed. It, uh, it only offers a very specific, it's a very narrow authorization. And uh, let me just read that into the record. And House Joint Resolution 114 said, the president is authorized to use armed forces of the United States as he determines to be necessary and appropriate in order to, one, defend the national security of the United States against the continuing threat posed by Iraq, and two, enforce all relevant United Nations Security Council resolutions regarding Iraq. Now, we know 20 years later that Iraq didn't have any weapons of mass destruction. They weren't actually threatening the national security of the United States. And I don't believe that there's any United Nations Security Council resolutions regarding Iraq still in, in force. So it's time for this to be repealed. There's been a number of efforts to do so in Congress. And by including it in this larger legislative package, it can generate the necessary political force to, to make that happen. I, I guess I should also say that, you know, this is a very, just there are, there are dozens of organizations who have signed on board with, with repealing this, this authorization for military force. And so it should be even less controversial than the, the previous section. With that, Mix Chair, I think that concludes my testimony for Section 312. And I'd be happy to answer any questions. Thank you. Uh, yes, I have a question. The 1990, 1991 authorization for military force against Iraq is still on the books. Is there any reason why that should not be repealed as well? No, I don't, I don't think there is any reason why it shouldn't be. The sections that we're, we're talking about today in the public hearing, they came from the recent debates over the National Defense Authorization Act and some of the policy things that, you know, the amendments that were offered. And the, the 1991 uh, AUMF wasn't brought up, um, so it wasn't really on our radar. Um, since though, then we've learned that a Joint Resolution 10 was introduced last year. It has 34 bipartisan co-sponsors, and that would repeal both of the Iraq authorization for military force, the 1991 and the 2002. And uh, I'd be happy to work with the subcommittee to update the language of section 312.